Okay, can you see? Determination of beam size? Yes, doctor. Yes, I can see. Okay, now uh, it's look very simple, yeah, but um, we have a procedure to get the size of the beam. Yeah. Okay, uh, okay. The selection of beam size uh, from the structural viewpoint is often dictated by the deflection control. If you see yesterday, we have calculated the deflection. Yeah? So, in order to uh, obtain the size of the beam, uh, it must be based on the uh, deflection control. Yeah? So, deflection control yesterday, we calculated that L over D allowable must be greater than L over D actual. Yeah? But when you start design uh, in a real structures, we don't know the size yeah? and we don't know uh, the amount of steel. Yeah? Because when we want to calculate the deflection, actually we want, we will uh, use the amount of steel inside the beam. Yeah? So, uh, therefore in design, engineers will use Rule of thumb, we call it as rule of thumb. Yeah? Rule of thumb, it's called L over H. Yeah? L over H. Yeah? This is called deflection control. Yeah? We don't use L over D as, as uh, we did yesterday, but we use L over H. This is also called deflection control. Yeah? So L over H. So when you uh, determine it, uh, at the beginning of design, you want to determine what is the size that ap appropriate for your design. Basically, designer will use L over H uh, between 13 to 18. Yeah? Between 18, uh, 13 to 18. As uh, the uh, the they found that it is economical yeah? in the case of simply spotted and continuous beam. And while B over H, yeah, the size of the beam, BH, we can uh, predict in the range of 0 0.3 to 0 0.6. Okay, let's look here. However, uh, beside the control deflection, uh, Eurocode also provides us as a guidance. They um, they has they uh, put this table, yeah? table 5.5. .5. It is uh, minimum dimension and exist distances for simply spotted beams. Yeah? This is simply spotted beam. Actually, you have another. We have another table yeah, in the book. Yeah, but now let's let's let uh, let's say we uh, design for the simply spotted beams. So um, from this table, uh, all we need to uh, assume is that, or we we before we design, we will fix the fire resistance. Yeah, for example here, if you want to fix it as R60 resistance 60 minutes, B minimum should be. We have three op four options here. Option one, D not S two, three, four, five. This is the option of the beam. Minimum B can be 120, 160, 200, and 300. Yeah? So if you use uh, fire resistance 60, maybe you can choose um, option one, 120. The second one, 160. Third one, 200, and last one, 300, yeah? So, this is the B minimum, yeah? So, if you doing the uh, flange beam, this is the, the, the flange with 180 and 100. So, this is guidance, yeah? Okay, uh, this is this, uh, this table we use in the uh, calculation of cover. Do you remember that? Table 5.5? Yeah, so this is one of the option that how we determine the width of the beam yeah? based on the fire resistance. Okay. 
uh, this is uh, this is the same eh? the same just now okay okay let's say now we have uh, uh, L 7.5 yeah so in order to uh, start the design uh, we need to know what is the B and H that we want to use during design yeah? so uh, as I said just now we can use the uh, control control deflection using the deflection control therefore uh, the rule of thumb is that L over H between 13 to 18 yeah? so here let's say we use 13 you can choose 13 to 18, maybe 14, 15, 16, and so on. But let us use 13 now. So you can get H. So your H now is 577 millimeter. And B, using the rule of thumb given, is 0 0.3 to 0 0.6. Okay, now let's say 0 0.3. This is 0 0.3 actually, yeah. 0 0.3 0 0.3 so you can get um, time with it h that you obtained just now so you got 144 millimeter and times 577 and this is the minimum that uh, the minimum dimension that you obtain from the control deflection therefore you can use uh, you can choose the size greater than the minimum that you obtain here. For example, uh, I will use 250 times 650. You also can use maybe 200 times 600. Yeah. So that is uh, one of the way that um, how we find the size of the beam. Okay, any question? Okay, from this example also, you can check with the uh, previous table 5.5. Yeah, to now our B is 250. Okay, B is 250. B is 250. Let's say your R60. Yeah. So here, yeah, is in in the range of the given B here. So if you are 60, uh, your size is here 250. So your A will be between 25 to 30. Okay. So that is the guidance on how we we find the B and H. Okay. Any question? No. Okay. No. Eh? Okay. 